Hi everyone, uh, this is Rahul and let us uh, discuss what happened with the market the last week and what we're expecting in the coming week. Let's start with Nifty. Now what you see on the Nifty chart is this green candle which is closed at uh, 10,244, right? Uh, although this seems bullish to most people, but my point here is that I'm extremely bearish on this because uh, we are at a very strong resistance. You can see this yellow line here. In fact, let me change. So you can see it more clearly. We'll change the color. You can see this line here. This is the 200 day moving average on the weekly chart. All right. Uh, market was rejected from here earlier. There was selling happening last week here. This week again, we went back to the same price. Okay, so we were expecting a downward move this week. Uh, let's see day by day what really happened. So first two days price did go down a little bit and then it picked up, right? Uh, on Thursday, we see the biggest uh, green candle. Friday, there was smaller movement on the upside again. See on the hourly chart, there was this consolidation which broke down. So we were looking at this a triangle. You can see this uh, triangle here. It seemed like it was breaking on the downside. Okay. With this spike, but if you see it did not really close there, it went back up. Okay. And then it finally broke on the upside. So this was the move that has happened uh, from say 18th of June. Yeah. So that was on Thursday, which was the option expiry. And then uh, it continued to be up. All right. So that doesn't really mean we are in an upward trend. Like we discussed earlier, we're still bearish. It has just retested the previous high. Okay. So for this week, you need to be a little careful because although we are bearish in the market, but the downtrend needs a confirmation at least on the lower time frame, right? So if we see the market uh, breaking this level on the upside, if you just draw a resistance here, if the market breaks this resistance, or in fact, you can make it a horizontal line, just the previous price. So keep this price in mind, 10,330. If the market breaks this price, then we are looking at the price being tested, uh, the resin being tested at the level of 10,560. I'll show you uh, what level we're talking about, which is the 200 day moving average on the daily time frame. So this, the market can spike until here. Sorry, this is 10,522. And the previous resistance as per the price action was at the 10,660. So you have a hundred point range here from 10,530 to about 10,650, which can get tested looking at the current price action. All right. After that is when the downtrend should ideally resume. So that price would be the ideal price to go short. Uh, in between this, you can trade both sides. So I'm saying that in case the market comes back down here, let's say it comes to this support, but does not break it uh, at 9,990, you can take a buy again to the next resistance. If the low breaks, you can take a short. If the market rejects uh, 10,320, you can take a short. So for this week, you know, we have to understand that there are a lot of resistance and supports nearby. So price would be playing between these levels. All right, a uh, clear cut short when the market should actually start to fall will only be when the support is uh, broken. You can see the strong support that we're talking about. This is a level at 9,700. So there are multiple uh, le levels here, right? In the shorter term time frame, you can see we have 9,700, which needs to break for the confirmation of the downward trend to resume. So you have to plan your trade according to the support and resistance in mind. 
uh, although I'm still on the bearish side, but you cannot say for sure which day the market is going to uh, fall. All, although Thursday is definitely the ideal day to be in the market because you can see since it's the weekly expiry options, options expiry, you will always see a lot of movement on this day, right? So depending on what the trend is on Wednesday, we can plan or even on Thursday, uh, like for example, this Thursday price first came down, then made a spike and then went back up, right? So for this week, the trade would be on the basis of support resistance. I'm saying again and again, because there is no clarity in terms of a confirmation. Although we are at a good resistance, price should fall, but it might take its time. Okay. Uh, so that's what you have to keep in mind. Another thing is that um, I am updating the comment section on the video. So if you are, uh, since I'm trading on Nifty on a daily basis, so if you are following this video and you want to get updates in the middle of the week, keep an eye on the comment section. If you have any questions, you can ask me on the comment section. Uh, I will try to respond as soon as possible, at least uh, twice a day. I will check the uh, comments. All right. So uh, we will be giving you an update on the comment section depending on what is happening on a daily basis uh, about this. But for now, I would say just watch the market. Uh, look at what the price does once it reaches resistance, whether the resistance is broken and we are going for the next resistance or we are getting rejected from here and going for the uh, next support. Then what happens on the next support? So ideally, uh, lower time frames is what I would be focusing more on. Trading between one swing to the next looking at uh, swing lows or swing highs are breaking. All right. With a bearish bias, definitely, but uh, not a very strong confirmation. So you have to plan your trade accordingly. I would not suggest you to, you know, take a put option or uh, just short and hold on right now because we don't know. It may go sideways also. All right. So that's the view on Nifty. Uh, let us take a look at Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty is a similar uh, scenario. You can see this more clearly on the lower time frame. You can see again, we have a range here and price is playing at the resistance. So first target is 22,600. The price can get rejected from here and start to fall. Or if this level breaks, if you see a breakout of 22,600 with a strong body dominating bullish candle, at least on the hourly chart and above, uh, then we are looking at the next resistance of uh, 24,980. So just keep these levels in mind. Again, here I would take a look at the lower time frames and uh, try to trade between the range that is very clearly seen here. So on the support side, we have the 200 moving average at 20,140. Okay. And we have 22,560. So right now we're somewhere in between. I would not do anything on Monday immediately. I would wait for the price to come at one of these levels, either the resistance or the support. And from there, you can either tra target a short, if the market looks like it's breaking the swing low on the lower time frame, which is the 15 minute chart, or you can also try to buy, but not at the current price, like I said. So this week you have to be a little careful, um, wait for confirmation, then trade a similar view on Nifty and Bank Nifty. Uh, support resistance is uh, required. So here, this kind of market is where you can use your oscillators, like your RSI, CCI, stochastic, Okay, and they would give you good signals to trade between the range. Also, as, as a short term trader or as an intraday trader, I normally do not have too, many, too big a target. So it is good for intraday trading because you can just trade from one support to the next or one resistance to the next. And also remember to keep booking your profits. Don't let your profits lie idle. I know some of you this week saw profits but could not book it. Uh, that is one rule which has to always uh, be kept in mind, especially for short term trading or intraday trading uh, or even overnight trading that uh, you need to book your profit once the market reaches a resistance. If 
you want to hold on at least keep an eye on the underlying chart so you know this is the underlying chart for bank nifty if you see the market breaking a swing low then you can exit or you can see the market coming below the 30 moving average here that's the time you can exit because then it's going back into a sideways movement all right that's it from my side uh, we will still be in touch through the comment section uh, while the week is on any updates on the trades i will be sharing you through the comments so take a uh, keep a watch on that as well and from your side you can also uh, ask me anything specific regarding nifty bank nifty uh, even related to options we can discuss that on the comments all right that's it from my side thank you everybody bye